All right, this is uh, doing uh, uh, half walls with a wall cap. And I'm going to show you two ways. You can do this in uh, Pro and Architectural. I'm using Pro 2021 trial to do this. And uh, you, you can, I think, do one of these methods in Suite. So the Home Designer products don't have the option for a wall cap. Chief, uh, if you have a pony wall or a half wall, you can actually specify the cap that goes on top of the wall. Um, so here's a here's a way you can do this in uh, Home Designer. This is just a, a a pony wall. So I've got a, a interior six copy on top, interior six um, on the bottom, and the bottom wall is just a standard interior six wall. It doesn't have to be interior six; it can be anything. And what I've done here is I've just made this uh, top part. I've just made a copy of the interior six wall, made it a solid drywall, and then made it the correct thickness so it'll hang over an inch on on the sides. And then I can take I can take this. I need to get a take an elevation here. I can take this top wall and I can adjust it up and down. And you can see I've got a dimension here. You know, so I want, if I wanted this to be three inches thick, I could make that top piece three inches t thick. And of course, I've, I've just painted it these blue colors just so it shows up. Um, let's select this one and then go back over. So that's one way of doing a, a wall cap. Another way of doing it is using cabinets. And so I've just taken a cabinet. And you probably don't even need that. So I've just I've just taken a cabinet and we'll spin it around back and this is the front. And just made it a blank area. No no toe kick, just just uh blank. And then this is just a separate cabinet that I've put together so they come together in the corner. And you can see in uh in vector view it looks pretty clean. You don't you can just barely see right here a line where this where this cabinet over here butts up against it. But it's pretty pretty invisible. And of course in standard view you don't see anything. So it's not perfect. Um, the other thing you can do here, because this is a countertop, you can add moldings. So we'll put this around. There's a problem when you do this. You can see on, on this cabinet it works okay. It goes all the way around and if I if I pull this cabinet back you can see this cabinet, the molding wraps all the way around. I'm going to control Z to undo that. I'm going to use the object eyedropper to make this cabinet the same as this one. And you'll see the problem here is there's no molding on this this back side over here and that's because this cabinet is intruding on the space and I don't know any way of getting 
easily the molding on this back piece. And of course you can color these moldings if you want. You can, you can paint them the same color as the top. 